Hello, my name is Jocelyn. Today I will be refuting Christine's uh, claim of fact, which states that teacher tenure has a negative impact on the education system. Uh, she has three secondary claims. First is tenure makes it costly and difficult for um, uh, the district to remove poorly performing teachers. Uh, second, tenure places the importance of the profession on the amount of time spent and institution rather than the quality of the education being taught. Third, tenure can create a sense of complacency in education. And in order to support her first claim, uh, she stated that according to a new teacher project, 81% of administrators and 58% of teachers reported that there was a tenured teacher in the school with deliver, which delivers poor instruction. Um, although this uh, statistics provides a, um, a testimony form from teachers and administrators, um, it is statistical value that reports subjective information um, that is not based on actual objective and measurable data. In addition, it does not support her secondary claim that it is costly and difficult to remove poorly performing te tenure teachers. Uh, it simply supports the idea of there being a poorly performing tenure teacher in a certain school. Uh, Christine also provides examples of unethical teachers, such as a Florida teacher that threw books at her students and demanded to call her Miss God. Um, although this provides an example of a tenure teacher that uh, has poorly performing um, teaching, it does not provide statistical evidence that it is difficult to remove this teacher or costly in any way. Um, in her secondary, second secondary claim, she provides background information on teacher tenure, such as the last and first out system and the permanent employment statute. This background information does not provide that there is an actual negative impact from um, there being a concentration more on the amount of time a teacher spends, or time a teacher has spent at an institution, than the quality of education being taught. Essentially, it only provides more information on how teacher tenure works, it, instead of how it negatively affects the education system. Um, to have a counterclaim for this, her secondary claim, um, I believe that tenure helps guarantee innovation in teaching therefore actually benefiting the quality of education. If teachers did not have tenure, they would feel the need to teach directly for standardized tests. However, since tenure protects teachers from getting fired, it also allows teacher, teachers to try new and innovative methods of teaching in order to be, to be up to date with technology and student thinking. Um, for example, the formal California Teachers Association president, Barbara Kerr, said that teachers are afraid to try new innovative things if they are afraid of losing their job. So if teachers have tenure, they will be protected to be fired and therefore will um, have the opportunity to try innovative and uh, more advanced technologic ways of teaching. Um, to finalize, Christine states that non-tenured teachers are doing a better job of inspiring and preparing students than tenured teachers are. This statement is providing a positive comment on non-tenured teachers However, it doesn't provide evidence that tenure teachers create uncritical satisfaction in the profession. Uh, to conclude, Christine provides evidence that does not completely and effectively support her claim, as well as her secondary claims. Much of the evidence given is solely giving background information and generalizing her ar argument or providing subjective information that does not demonstrate the negative impact that, their te that the teacher tenure has on the education system. All right, structurally, things are pretty clear. You identify the topic and the secondary claims. And when you get to the first signpost, uh, we know where you are. Uh, the criticism of the first piece of evidence is okay, because it. Uh, I think I understand the point that you're making on that. Uh, the the notion, though, that there is, uh, you know, that this doesn't necessarily demonstrate that it's costly to remove those teachers. I don't remember exactly the uh, details that the advocate presented, but when they had the illustration of the of the teachers that were that had these particular problems, I, the one that you mentioned, for instance, is the one who threw the book and uh, wanted to be called Miss God. Um, 
that seemed to me like I, I, I seem to recall that there was something in the evidence that they read that said that they couldn't get rid of that teacher. I, I don't really know that that's the case. If we were hearing these arguments back to back, it would be a little bit easier to assess. I do think that you're focusing so much on the notion about whether or not it's costly to do this or easy to do this that you're missing the larger picture, which is whether or not uh, the ease of doing this would change the way that teachers behave or act in the classroom. Would being able to do this uh, more easily uh, improve the schools in some way, shape, or form? And that's, I think, the point that needs to be developed a little bit more, and it, it seems like you could use a counterclaim on that particular point. On the second point, you basically say that it just summarizes what the policies are um, without a, much explanation about why those policies are either beneficial or harmful. The one argument that you make here that's a counterclaim that I thought was pretty good talks about how uh, tenure allows for innovation in teaching and there's an explanation about why that is the case assuming that teachers are afraid of losing their jobs. Uh, they're unwilling to engage in this kind of innovative teaching. I, I I do think that there's a big presupposition built into this that teachers are in fact afraid of losing their jobs. If they're not afraid of losing their jobs, which the first point seems to be suggesting, you know, that they, there isn't any reason for them to fear this, uh, then why wouldn't they be innovative in their teaching processes? I think, I think you need a little bit more. The quote from the, C, the former CTA president I think is a little bit abstract here. It explains the concept but doesn't document uh, that the behavior is, is really the way people are acting. Um, you know, I, I don't know that you get much on that third point. It just really feels like it's been presented and it, we're going a little bit in a circle here, this sense of um, complacency, the idea that th there should be some kind of comparison. Uh, I, I think you need to sh make it, go ahead and make a defensive tenure at this particular point. Show how tenured teachers uh, are efficient. Uh, show the productivity of the teachers. Defend the existing school system. I, I think that you could probably do some of those kinds of things and just have a general response to this criticism instead of trying to focus just on the, the technical issue that the advocate's talking about, about the difficulty of removing somebody who's a problem. All right, thank you.